What's going on everybody? In today's video we're gonna be reviewing the Liumi LM2001. This is a multimeter that has some oscilloscope features inside of it which makes it very very interesting. So first we're gonna be unboxing the multimeter and inside of the box we can find the multimeter inside of a pouch and also the instructions. And here we have the multimeter inside of the pouch. And inside of the pouch we have the multimeter, the list for the multimeter, as well as the adapter to measure the amplification of PJT transistors. So here we have the leads and as we can see they are fairly flexible, they seem to be made out of silicon. They have some caps on them as well, in both of the sides of the leads. We also here have the, uh, the device for measuring the amplification of transistors. And here we have the multimeter itself. The multimeter itself comes inside of a Ziploc bag. And here it is, very clean. The latch at the back is magnetic. And at the back we also have the battery compartment. And here we also have the instructions. They show us all the features that this multimeter has, as well as how to use the features and other specifications about the multimeter. So I'm gonna start by doing some measurements uh, in order to see where the multimeter lies in terms of measurements so I made a 3d printed bracket that allows me to put the uh, resistors and other components over the leads uh, without uh, being so finicky then I'm gonna measure some capacitors here So now we can test the diode features. I'm gonna have one of these diodes and see what's the voltage. I can also test it with an LED. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the transistor features. So I'm gonna put in the adapter and then we can test it with different transistors. And now we can test continuity with the multimeter. And this is a comparison with my other multimeter. And here we're gonna test it with some different waveforms. These waveforms are generated by my function generator, which is below the multimeter. And I'm comparing it with my other oscilloscope. Here I'm changing the amplitude to see how the uh, multimeter reacts to changes in amplitude. It seems that we need to, once we change in amplitude, we need to uh, re-auto range the multimeter. And here I'm showing how you can increase and decrease the size of the waveform. 
with the up and down arrows. And we can test different waveforms and see what they look like. As we can see the refresh rate is not that great in comparison to the to my other oscilloscope. Uh, so because it's not so fast at refreshing, you might miss a lot of um, important uh, spikes and so on. And here we can test with different frequencies and see what happens once we increase or decrease the frequency. Keep in mind that the maximum of the, that this multimeter can do in terms of frequency is 10 kilohertz. And it seems like we are having issues in the lower frequencies because they cannot detect properly the lower frequencies. Alright, so now that we have seen the Lumi LM2001 uh, in action, now let's see what I actually think of the, the uh, multimeter. So. There are some things that I like about this multimeter and some things that I don't really like. I like the transistor measurements because a lot of the a lot of the new multimeters don't come with uh, transistor measurements uh, to measure the amplification factor uh, for BJTs. Uh, and this one includes it, so I like that very much. It seems to work fairly well. I like that the high current port is actually very high current, um, so it can handle 20 amps, which is fairly good. Uh, my other one can only handle um, half of it, which is 10 amps. Uh, so this can handle a lot of current passing through it and not blow the fuse, which is very good. Um, it's very good for uh, very high, high current uh, measurements that you need to do. For example, I know that I could measure some heaters in 3D printers working and seeing how much current they're actually drawing uh, with my other one i cannot do it because it might blow the fuse inside but with this one i can actually do it the leads that i also like the leads that come with it um they seem to be fairly good silicon leads and they are fairly flexible which is good also the the multimeter is fairly cheap for the for having the actual uh, oscilloscope feature inside of it um, which is very good I, when I use the oscilloscope feature, it seems, it seems to be fairly or closely accurate. Um, I don't expect it to be like super accurate, uh, but it would allow you to do very basic measurements to understand like what your signals are looking like, uh, which is good. We're going to talk more about that later. So now let's go to some things that I don't really like about this multimeter. Uh, I was like the first thing is very it, it is very bulky in comparison to a lot of all the multimeters it is very very bulky um, in terms of size you could see 
it in um, in comparison to the Anang multimeter, and you will see it. It's massive compared to it, and it's it is fairly heavy, also. Uh, I'll say the another thing is that the frequency range of this this the frequencies that you can read um, the waveforms itself uh, the the range is very small it can go I believe up to uh, 10 kilohertz uh, so from 0 to 10 kilohertz and even at the lower frequencies it tends to have issues recognizing the frequency itself so I was feeding it at a waveform of like 10 and it thought like 10 hertz and it thought that it was um it was like six and once you go higher in frequency it tends to like recognize it better but i think there is a lot of issues when it comes to like it recognizing the frequencies that you're feeding in uh which might be a big problem um but then again this is for a lot of light work um electronics i don't consider this like a full-on uh, oscilloscope at all so like I can let that slide I don't really care so another problem that I had was this um, probe here for the transistors uh, I've noticed that the one for the PMP tends to be very tricky to get the, the transistors inside and I don't uh, like this because it's it's just so the holes are so small that you cannot you can really see uh, and and it's very hard just to get the the, the pins inside it's just it's just a mess so I, I'd rather see some other different way in which you can insert the the pins inside because I don't really like this it's just way too cumbersome to even get like just one transistor inside another problem that I saw that doesn't have to do with the multimeter itself is the fact that the bag that the multimeter came with was a piece of garbage uh just take that take that bag and just throw it away because for me at least mine it looked like it was one used because it was very dirty and two the moment i closed the bag with the multimeter inside the zipper broke so the bag is just a piece of garbage just throw it away in general why do, why do i think of this multimeter it is good it is fairly good um and the fact that this has the oscilloscope features inside make it worth more um, because even if you're on a pinch and you need to see if you're getting some type of waveforms you can um, always just whip this out and just use it and it will work so I'll say um, if you want to have all those features go ahead uh, but um, I'm not sure how much value the, the other features add to this multimeter itself I'm not sure how much value the just having a multimeter with an oscilloscope in it that um, has very low um, like the sampling rate is so low but I think as a multimeter it's still pretty good and on a pinch if you need to see any type of signals that are um, of sinusoids or, or clock signals and so on then yeah this is gonna be fairly good uh, for that so yeah that's about it uh thank you so much for banggood for uh, providing us this multimeter for review and i'm gonna have the link to this multimeter if you guys want to purchase it or or find more information about it so yeah that's about it uh thank you guys so much for watching and let me know in the comments what you think about this multimeter and if you want to actually get one uh personally i might be using it for uh some projects that i have that I have to do at college uh, where I require an oscilloscope but I don't want to carry my full-on oscilloscope for that so this might be useful for that but we I'm gonna have to test it out there and we will see how useful it is but yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching and have a very good day